Welcome to Ladies of Another View on Back. We have a little bit different panel here today. And of course, we have Candy. <laughs> yes. And we have two guests here. And just like Trent Luce said last week, it should be ladies and a dude. Well, we have ladies <laughs> and, and two dudes it's a 50 -50. today. I like it. All right. You might recognize the one down on the far end. It's Dr. Steve Nagel. He is local right here yeah. out of Bismarck. We're so excited to have you back. Yeah. It's always great to be back. And, and he brought a guest with I him. I did. I did. Somebody Yay. kind of famous around so here. Dr. One of my mentors and good friends. A mentor and, and good friend, Dr. Patrick Flynn out of Wisconsin. But uh, he has quite the history. He has clinics all over the world. And you're going to want to stick around and listen to this show today because we're going to cover everything. He's known as the hormone whisperer. So we'll get right to it. Well, first formerly, of all, we should welcome, welcome Kendi back <laughs> because did. she was in she was Aww. in Mexico. She's been in Florida. So if you have missed Kendi, that's Aww, why. Thank you. Yes. Well, I made up for it because I was on Rick's show last week twice. Okay. So I was, yeah, if you watched Rick's show, you caught me. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Well, we kind of share the talent around here. We have mm -hmm. to. Yes, just, we do. We do. Anyway, so why don't we just get started, Dr. Flynn? Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I currently live in Green Bay, Wisconsin. You know, I have a beautiful wife of 20 years now and, and four beautiful daughters. And, and that's actually how this whole thing originally got started. Um, I had my own health history that led me to be a doc and, uh, and my educational background. But really what people's gotten to know all over the world next even how i met dr steve was the fact that uh, she was going through some major things where she um major hormone issues she mm -hmm. actually suffered from endometriosis ulcerative colitis she had cluster headaches she had cystic acne and she was seeing doctors since she was little and, and always had a lot of suffering going on and then it wasn't until i met her and realized that uh um that she needed a different perspective because she was seeing all sorts of doctors um taking medications, taking natural things, doing things and it wasn't working. Mm -hmm. And then um, some things weren't adding up to me and so I started looking at it for, uh, from, from my educational background and then realized that the hormonal world that they were teaching her and doing with her um, was in a very wrong direction. And so then, but no one ever practiced this way before so I started to go, okay. And so almost like my wife was, was almost like my first uh, experiment. There you <laughs> so, go. <laughs> and, but but the thing is, it, it, you're willing to take the chance on it, if, especially when when I met her and then when she would have her cycle, uh, basically she was curled up on a ball in massive pain. Mm -hmm. And then knowing that lays down the path of infertility, it, you know, I said the wellness way is basically um, born out of a necessity mm -hmm. of, of a demand that uh, fertility is such a thing that people, infertility is such a thing that people suffer with today. And that's how it all started about there. And well, when you talk about she had endometriosis, yep. and then you say you have four daughters, there's yes. a lot of people who can't conceive yep. when they have endometriosis. Yeah. She was told that, wasn't she? Yes. That, that's part of the kind of, I would say, we kind of have a romantic uh, rom-com. You're mm -hmm. saying uh, boy meets girl, girl suffers, uh, boy helps her figure it out. <laughs> uh, love story, beautiful with four kids, and that's the hormone connection. This is like has a been Disney out. movie. It wow. is, but it's, see, the only thing is, people see the beginning <laughs> and see the end. But there was a lot of rough in between. Yes. A lot of people they never saw. That's the horror show yeah. part. That's of it. the part <laughs> that was where the movie turns bad a little bit. Now yeah. I mean bad is the fact that it's like um, there was instances where, as she was recovering, she had some setbacks that way, and and I didn't have the ability to go to other doctors and say, what do you think is going on here? I kind of had to trailblaze that myself. And then the neat part was, is doctors started to recognize what I was doing of all professions. And then they would say, hey, what you doing here? And then next thing you know, I'm getting asked to speak at, you know, chiropractic conferences, medical conferences, naturopath, all, all healthcare uh, spectrums that way from all professionals. And then my ideas started to catch on. And then doctors started opening offices in wellness ways all over the world. And, and then, of course, um, Dr. Steve, we were just even talking about today, um, he happened to catch one of my videos about some of the things because some of his patients were talking a little bit about some of the hormone stuff. And then we've become great friends since, and we practice the same exact way and, and with all the wellness ways. So your, um, your medical background, mm -hmm. you, you are a doctor of chiropractic. That's mine, yep. And so what was your, under, your undergrad major? Um, well, it was human biology, but actually a specialist in nutrition. And then I obviously went and got my degrees in uh, nutrition. And uh, then also my other love was actually immunology. So that was why we oh, now have so some. So maybe oh, we can talk about COVID we're later. We're going to get there. The we're going to get there. <laughs> wow. Um, because that, that's more. That's my more he, my more health history that way. Is uh, as my docs know yeah. was we hear my, about my wife's story because it's like that's more of a love story mm -hmm. and stuff. But but mine, how I became a doc was my health history, and so therefore you know foods were really important to me, 
and allergy is really important to me because that was a little bit my life that way. Um, and that helped me come up with some of the concepts by the time I met my wife going, all right, they have, a, they have a, a perspective that's greatly different than I when it comes to allergies. And then when it came to female cycle and everything, I believe that still to this day, they still do not teach either one of them properly. I agree. When I was in high school, I would stay home from school for a day and a half and throw up. Yep. during my menstrual cycle. So yep. all my old teachers out there, I was truly sick. I've ne and then my <laughs> girls nowadays, I have two daughters that, you know, they said that they have cramps. It's like, oh honey, oh honey, you don't know cramps yep. until you're staying home from school and throwing up, you know, cause I don't even know when they have theirs technically. Well, and I wanna say, cause I did attend one of your classes mm -hmm. when you were here and you went into great detail mm -hmm. as far as the women's cycle. Yes. And it was at that point, I mean, I'm 46 years mm -hmm. old and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not crazy. There's nothing wrong with me. I am a totally normal woman. Yep. But there is this idea pounded into women that there's something wrong with them as they fluctuate and change yes. and their home hormones vary throughout the month. Um, I was very grateful oh. for your message. Thank you. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate So. Yeah, that, that's some of the biggest misconceptions. Um, and that's why I believe that women, um, when it comes to healthcare, they're not taken care of based on how their body actually works. Um, because if you ever look at the hormonal shifts that women have, hormones affect them both physically and mentally. And a guy's a much more, let's just say, very simple compared to a woman because their hormones are... Say that louder. Through, they're very <laughs> simple compared to women. Oh. Very simple. Because our hormones don't fluctuate. We have a little bit of fluctuation morning till night. But when you look at a woman over the course of a month, there's dramatic fluctuations through the month. And so therefore, there's both physical and mental things that change for them that don't change with men. And, and I actually looked at it and going, you know something? that is going to mean that women are going to change both biologically, physically, and they're also going to change mentally during the month. And most men don't understand that. So it was interesting that I sat there and went, I started to pattern out my wife's cycle, um, and all of a sudden, guess what happened? It started to change, and, and I started to realize that going, oh my goodness, I'm actually married to a different person as the month goes through. And I've proven that, and now all of a sudden people are going, it makes more understanding that way. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah, that does make sense. Mm -hmm. Well, and I remember from your class, you there's basically four phases yes. of a cycle, and you're like, when a man says, he doesn't say, I do once, it's I do, I do, yes. I do, I do, because it's four different women. Four different women. Yeah. And, and, wow. And it doesn't matter. And so when I go speak at, at medical schools or other medical conventions that way, uh, biochemistry, they don't disagree with me because there is such a dramatic change four times in a month for a woman, and there's very little change to a man. So the man doesn't have much psychological or mental changes, but a woman has dramatic ones through the month. That's interesting mm -hmm. because, you know, there are so many people that, you know, they will argue certain times mm -hmm. of the month. And mm -hmm. yep. if you just kind of keep track of that, yes. it answers a lot of the questions. And, and we aren't the crazy ones. We're not. I swear nope. to well, God. Well, we yeah. are, but <laughs> and what there's I love a reason about, for what it. What I love yes. about it is, you know, Doc's also got a book called I Disagree, mm -hmm. and where he gets into how you can support a woman's hormones or support a woman appropriately during the times of her month, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so, which can make your relationship much Even better. better. Yes. Great. Yes. You know, we're going to have to take a quick break because time flies on this mm -hmm. show if you haven't uh, recognized that already. But we're gonna learn a lot more about hormones after we come back on Ladies of Another View on Back. Respect, innovation, trust, and excellence. These core values can be seen in every building built by Straightway Construction. In the community for over 15 years, Straightway Construction has become the premier construction company for commercial projects. From dirt to design and framing to finish, Straightway Construction is your number one choice. You won't have to look far to find a project that has that Straightway touch. Call them today or go online to straightwayconstruction.com and let them make your vision a reality. Communications is hiring. Beck Communications is now seeking qualified applicants for promotion commercial producer position in our Bismarck Beck location. This position will assist Beck News and Beck Sports. 
To view the job details, visit www.beck.coop. To apply, email your cover letter and resume to careers at bechtel.coop. Beck Communications, making connections that matter. Hi, I'm Dennis Haugen, along with my sons Andy and Mike, and we're showing our support for wind energy in North Dakota. Wind energy has provided farmers like us with a steady stream of income that's not tied to the weather, like crops and cattle are. Another bonus is that wind farm owners are required to maintain the roads leading up to the turbines. Because of that, oftentimes these roads are the best in the county. Wind energy is good for landowners, it's good for the land, it's good for our economy, and it's good for North Dakota. Pub 21, your one stop for fun, drinks, and food. Our spacious facility provides COVID-safe fun for you and all your friends. With nightly bingo and specials, you can be sure there's something to do for everyone. If you're staying in for the night, we've got you covered just across the way with Pub 21 Liquor. We have a wide variety of options, from wine to whiskey and everything in between. Stop in today at 1014 South 12th Street in Bismarck to see what all the buzz is about. You won't be disappointed. 40 years ago, Aero Service Team started with one truck and lots of hard work. Times may have changed, but the hard work that we put in to get your lives back in order after fire, water, and disaster hasn't. Over the years, we've seen so many families lose their belongings due to water and fire damage. Restoring homes back to the original state has made every hour of hard work well worth it. Thank you for trusting our family with yours. When disaster strikes, you only have to make one call. Aero Service Team does it all. Welcome back to Ladies of Another View on Beck. We are visiting with Dr. Patrick Flynn out of Wisconsin, along with Steve Nagel right here in Bismarck. Steve's getting to be kind of our favorite doctor here in town. <laughs> you may recognize him. He's been on the show several times now, and you always have such great information. And we appreciate you bringing Dr. Flynn into our studio, but tell us what you're doing in Bismarck. Maybe I should start a little bit there. What happened? Well, actually, we're a lot driving. Of this isn't on yeah. the way. Yes. To Why are you here? <laughs> and I always get the town wrong because we have another wellness way clinic up there. But what's our Wilson. town? Yes, yeah, Wilson. We're, we're driving there. I got an oh. event tomorrow morning. Okay. Uh, hormone collection uh, seminar sold out. Um, yeah, we can't fit any more people in the, the space. It sold out very quickly. And uh, going, going to go up there and uh, see one of our docs up there and have a great seminar. Then back to Green Bay on Sunday. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. So you're driving, you didn't fly through. See, so nope. that does answer some questions because yes. business isn't really on the way to yep. many places at an airport. <laughs> yes, yes. But it's by Dr. Steve and, and yeah. coming here is, uh, is so enjoyable to... We just want to connect. And yes. And so you own clinics well, all over the country, yes. a few all over the world. Yep. You know, before we do that, maybe we'll save that for last. Okay. You know, we can talk sure. about that. Let's get back on the track with the hormones because yeah. that is so interesting. Talk about the four different stages or personalities. Well, and that's, a, that's the thing. First of all, yeah, <laughs> like personalities. So it's actually, it's actually the it. same thing. Yeah. I think I think we can start here, which really I think will distinguish all the listeners that way on how it becomes dramatically different. If we were to ask all listeners out there, say, um, you know, we know the, the major hormone that makes a guy who they are, and who, who what, what's that hormone? We all know that, and it's very easily measurable. It stays very linear through the whole. They're actually basically their whole life, which is a misconception of people think testosterone goes down as it goes, or it does not. Um, it fluctuates a little bit from morning to night, but that's about it. But what is that major hormone that makes a woman a woman? forget <laughs> it's not what we think it's exactly serotonin, isn't no, it? no no from a female standpoint women are going to say it's going to be estrogen yeah. estrogen i That's knew right. that i knew that um, oh. but what a lot of people do not know estrogen is not a hormone. See, I didn't know there was going to be a quiz. There so is. That's, I'm, <laughs> yes. I have to defend I myself. To people, people make it too complicated, but people don't realize this is estrogen is not a hormone. Exactly, and see that's uh, and and so I have women that come to me. I spoke uh, twice or this last week, and women in their forties, fifties, and sixties goes, "I've never learned this, and how am I supposed to understand my cycle or what how it works when I don't understand that estrogen's not a hormone?" And then all the women are going, "Okay, elaborate now, because I can see listeners going, "Wait, you got my attention now." Well, estrogen is just a term for multiple hormones. Multiple hormones. Yes, and so what happens is this. That's why if you were to take your phone out and type in estrogen, it'll talk about multiple hormones. And then I realize, and that's when you look at the cycle. Um, I realized that, that a certain amount of those hormones, what they do is they fluctuate through the month. Well, the majority of our medical viewpoint is they measure one hormone when it comes to cyclic women, which is estradiol, and then when they're menopausal, they'll measure estrone. But that's having an incomplete view of a woman's both physical and psychological health. So therefore, and the reason why they only ha measure those, it's the only thing they can manipulate with their tools. So mm -hmm. therefore, that's why I say, well, Doc, why don't they address all the rest of them? Well, because they don't have the capability, the understanding, or the tools to do it. 
even though they're very easily measurable with labs. It's just that, so when I looked at my wife's stuff and I looked at all the women throughout the world, I have seen over personally over 100,000 hormone tests myself. And I've never seen one come from a doctor that properly tests all them. So how, so, so I started at 20, roughly four years old um, doing this stuff and I, and I looked around and I'm going, and no one was doing this stuff and I said, how can we have a picture of a female body or what they're going through physically or psychologically that affects both if you have an incomplete view of it? Right. And I said, why don't we just test them all? And I called some of the major labs and, and their response was two things that would totally surprise you. Why? Hmm. And insurance won't pay for it. Isn't that funny? And I'm like, oh, no, 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 I'm trying to figure out the physical and psychological of all these health conditions and they're hormone related and you're worried about um, why? Because it's not lived in the medical realm? And then second of all, is like, well, insurance won't pay for it. I'm like, if you have a sick woman suffering, guess what? You know, I don't think they'll have any problem paying for it. I need if to you, work. Yeah. So we started testing. That was the only difference that really separated us, and that's still to this day. Still to this day, you can't get a medical professional to test properly. And so how can we look at women and make physical judgments on them with an incomplete picture? You know, interesting you say that because I am a woman in my – I'm not in my golden years. <laughs> I mean, I like to think they're golden now. Yeah. But um, – I've probably learned more in the last 15 minutes yeah. than I knew in my 30 some years. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, right? Exactly. Everybody get tested. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? And so, uh, what if. <laughs> well, I just told them my age. Then on, you're 20. On air, That's so right. I missed it. I even. <laughs> okay, I honestly fine. didn't hear Keep you. Keep going. But, um, so tell us a little bit um, how a person can identify it. I mean, we all know when we're going through this. We get it. Mm -hmm. But is there something like even food we can stay away from, supplements we can add, or what can we do to help us? You know, because a lot of people think, well, I'm a woman. You know, they've been doing this for centuries. Yep. I don't need to go see a doctor yep. to tell me I'm crabby yep. and I'm hormonal. Is there anything they can do before they were to step inside yep. the clinic? Well, let's step back there because here's what happened to this. Um, do you understand that, that when people say that, that women are hormonal, that's listed as a derogatory term? I know Absolutely. it is. But it, it, but, it and is. I think that's extremely disrespectful for women because yeah. there is, it's very impossible to ever have a woman not fluctuate with hormones going up and down because that's just normal cyclic pattern over the course of mm -hmm. a month. Mm -hmm. So to say in that that is a woman's hormonal is basically criticizing God the way he made the body. Exactly. And I'm again, no, no, I expect my wife and my daughters who have a cycle to actually have peaks and valleys to their emotions, peaks and valleys to their body. You know, I, I always give the, uh, the funny example, but it's really true. And remember, everything I'm going to say to you came from women themselves. Uh, they give you an example of a physical realm. A woman would come to you, and, to you and I'll say, hey, listen, have you ever in the morning put on your bra and it was all nice and full? And the next week you put on a bra and it's a bunch of shriveled raisins. <laughs> now, it's women that said shriveled raisins, so it didn't come from me. Okay? okay. But the idea is this. And women are like going, yeah, doc, that my body changes. Because hormonally, your body will change as your, as your cycle changes and then physically change. But that happens mentally. Hmm. Yet, a lot of women sometimes think they are depressed or anxiety or other changes and didn't realize it's just their hormones going up and down, which are going to have a pattern of looking hormonal. And, and our whole medical field says, well, let's just keep them straight across. And they will alter your hormones, they'll manipulate them, and don't realize that sometimes they're manipulating their hormones when they don't even need to be. Mm. And they're actually creating oftentimes a state of numb. Yes. I mean, it's just like yep. this equilibrium state, uh, no feeling yep. whatsoever. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah, both physically and mentally. And, and, yes. and even talk about intimacy between a man and a woman. You alter those hormones, it affects a woman's sex life. And so it's like, and so all these things came about, and I'm going, man, I've seen that they, they have just been leading people down the wrong path. And I started, like I said, over 21 years ago, and actually it's only gotten worse. Mm. Wow. I want to touch on the whole sex life thing. Mm -hmm. yep. If you can just touch on this briefly. Um, you know, there is this pressure on women to be sexual all the time. Mm -hmm. And you touch on that yep. in your class. So yep. just ex te teach the audience yeah. what about is normal a for a, a woman. Okay. Well, if you think of it this way, just like you talked about, there's physical changes to a woman as they go through a cycle. Therefore, there's going to be emotional times when they actually have a sex drive. And there's actually physical times when their body actually can handle sex. And believe it or not, there's times that emotionally they have no desire, and there's times emotionally that physically it can actually not be good for their body. So that's why this whole movement of this women's sexual age is physically impossible. It makes no psychological sense if you understand hormones. It no, makes no physical sense, but we put it into this pressure. It's almost like it's flipped. We want women to be like men who men are supposed to have a sex drive all the time, and now we, got, we downplay that and call them disgusting pigs and perverted, even though if I have a huge sex drive for my wife, which is normal, 
I'm considered a disgusting pervert and pig, yet that's the biology the way it's made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the flip side, they're saying, women, you're supposed to be like that. You are physically um, and mentally putting pressure on a man and a woman that shouldn't exist. A woman, they feel bad because you watch Hollywood say all this BS or these movies grabbing a guy down and, and throwing him down to the bed. And I'm sorry, that if is not real life. It's not even real internally, emotionally for a woman. Well, see, and then enter the little blue pill, which has actually been harder on women in the yes. sense where then they're expected to perform even more yeah. in that sense. Yeah. So, all right. Sad. It is sad, but mm -hmm. I love that you're talking about it because yes. it can help people feel comfort in mm -hmm. who they really are. Yeah. Yep. Good. Absolutely. So we're going to come back with more after this with Dr. Patrick Flynn and Dr. Steve Nagel after these messages on Ladies of Another View on that. Jeez, what a mess. Look at that. There's roof stuff everywhere. It's so embarrassing. Ruins the neighborhood. Come on, humans. Let's get this fixed. Don't let your roof go to the dogs. Call America's best contractors for your free estimate. Need a new woof? After checking with the rest, go with the best. America's Best Contractors. 258-2412. Online at americasbestcontractorsincorporated.com. Indoor football is back in Bismarck. Bucks football season is right around the corner. Grab a friend or family member for a night of action-packed, hard-hitting entertainment. The Bucks open at the Bismarck Event Center May 8th as they take on the Massachusetts Pirates. Catch the sweetest seats in the house right on the sidelines with VIP service at a Bucks turf table. Available now for single game purchases. Secure your tickets today by calling 701-595-0771. Bucks football, half the field and double the fun. At Beck Communications, we've been planning for your future. Over the past decade, we've placed nearly 200,000 miles of dedicated fiber optics in the ground. Enough fiber optic strands to circle the world eight times. Taking no shortcuts, we connected every home and business in our service area with dedicated fiber optics. It's your personal, unrestricted, unthrottled connection to the world. Best of all, this dedicated fiber means you do not share your connection. We call this intimate dedicated connection Beck Fiber. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and as you know, my passion is to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. That's why I created my new Giza Dreams bed sheets. The first night you sleep on my sheets, you'll never want to sleep on anything else. Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen right now to get your very own MyPillow Giza Dream sheets. When you buy one set of sheets, you'll get another set absolutely free. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Ever been in a cave before? It's our first time. All right. Where are you going? I'll see you at the car! But how will we... The car! Your offer has been accepted. Ever bought a house before? It's our first time. All right. Where are you going? I'll see you at the closing! But how will we... The closing! Hey everybody, I'm Doug Billings, your host of The Right Side with Doug Billings on Beck News. We bring you high profile guests, ladies and gentlemen, exclusive guests. Now, you're not gonna see these guests in most of the mainstream media outlets. Another thing that I do here is give guests a platform to speak freely. You're not gonna see me censor anybody. Please join us, won't you? Weeknights right here on Beck TV and online at beck.news. Cheers. Welcome back to Ladies of Another View on Beck. We are visiting with Dr. Patrick Flynn out of Wisconsin, as well as Dr. Steve Nagel, just right down the street. And we're I'm more so just hanging out today. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's so fun. great. I like it. But it's Be what you represent, I don't have to too. talk. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sure. <laughs> but, but to explain to our viewers yeah. how you know him, like what, yeah. you, what made you decide that so, this is the clinic? You as you guys probably understand and feel from me, is my, I've always had a massive passion in health. Um, I have a background in nursing. Um, went through chiropractic school just like Doc here and uh, during practice when I was practicing prior to the wellness way I had a really good understanding of physiology and I had the same philosophy and the drive to help people but I didn't know it but I was practicing with my hands tied right and then I came across a video that actually uh, um, a friend of mine here in Bismarck had had shared of Doc doing a talk and I started listening to it and 
I'm like, man, like I'm 100% same philosophy. This is, this is good. So I started paying attention to some more of their media, and I realized, man, like I need to start testing, um, actually taking the tools, because I already like for most a lot of that stuff, like I'd studied it, but I never really actually Practiced tested it, or right? Tested it, yeah. Um, and so, and so, and then the the support of the wellness way, the 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 group, right? The the team approach. Um, Doc's been a mentor of mine for two years now, and um, it's just been a whole total game changer for us, for me, and so that's in a nutshell like how we came across it. And so I'm so thankful for Doc, and yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. You know, we talked a lot about hormones in the last two segments, yep. and there's a different view of the hormones and yep. how they go throughout the uh, the month. Mm -hmm. Now, kind of, can we tie that into COVID somehow? Isn't there some similarities? <laughs> there's, there's <laughs> a huge the similarity. Not the or what? We're going there. Well, <laughs> So my, like I said, Christy's story, my wife actually was a hormonal story, but my story was more of an immunology story um, of inflammation and things of like that, and that's what led me to actually go into nutrition, go into to chiropractic, go into immunology. And so that wrapped together has always been my love. And then I realized I was actually in practice for just a couple of years. And then all of a sudden I had a woman that came in, and uh, I've been seeing her actually since I started, and um, she came in one day and she's like, hey, she's like, I would like you to see my brother. And I'm like, he's visiting from California. And I, I remember it like yesterday, it was a Wednesday. And all of a sudden she said to me, she's like, uh, I said, oh, okay, cool, what, you know, what is he suffering with? And she looked at me and said, HIV. Hmm. And immediately fear came over me. Mm -hmm. Because even though in all my immunology books and all of our classes, including nursing school, including care school, including my undergraduate in human biology, everything like that, what ended up happening was um, you're taught these things, but you're never taught how to deal with them. You're taught hormones, but you're never taught how to deal dealt with them. So then all of a sudden I'm like, actually I felt bad, I kind of lied to her. I said, oh, I'm booked the rest of the week. And she's like, well, don't worry, he, he's here all next week. Oh, oh wow. Well. And I, I say that because I understand that when all of a sudden you hear about a virus, fear settles in because it's you know, known, because I've never dealt with it before. Well, long story short, I went back to my immunology books and I started going, you know, which was second nature to me anyways. But then all of a sudden I started to realize that uh, going, because we have the perspective, just like we did with hormones, is if we want to see how a woman's doing mentally and physically, we need to test all the hormones. Well, if we want to see where HIV is at, you know, a human in, uh, immune deficiency virus, and which if their immune system gets low, it develops into AIDS and they usually die from some bacterial pneumonia or some just basic virus. So I said, well, let's look at the immune system and see if we can test it to see where it's at. Hmm. So I started at 26 years old, started writing down all the immune cells and tested him. And lo and behold, before he actually got a lab back, he actually passed away. Oh, but dear. then when I got his lab back, I saw that his immune system was very deficient. And in the world of immunology, nobody's ever looking at a complete field of immune system. They're focusing on the virus and not the host. Sure. And so just like hormones, they're, they're looking at the condition, not the hormones. And they're looking at endometriosis like it's a condition. No, it's not. It's actually your hormones are off, and that was the result. Him dying from AIDS was the fact that he was immune deficient. So I said, what if we can get a snapshot of that, get a complete view of his Im immune system, get a complete view of per people's hormones, was really very similar. And then I started testing people's immune systems and realized that, guess what happens? I don't care what virus or what bacteria it is, if you're immune deficient, you should be scared of everything. Um, so this whole world is running around testing for viruses and we've come along and said, listen, stop focusing on the virus, focus on the host. Stop focusing on a variant. If the host is deficient, it doesn't matter if it's even just a bacteria you're susceptible to having, you know, even death. Certainly, and that's why a lot of people with the different morbidities yep. are dying of, yep. of COVID, but those that have a healthy immune system, it's nothing right. more than maybe a cold, maybe a yep. few body aches, and, and pretty much get through it. Yep. That's interesting. Well, that, it's, it's the same concept. If you, if you want a picture of how a woman's physical and mental health is doing, get a complete view of their hormones. If you want a view of how a person's immune response is going to happen, get a test of their immune response. So then I just sat there with, with a pen and paper, my immunology books, wrote all the thing, called the lab, said, can we test this? And they're like, absolutely. So I started writing tests and realizing that people were majorly in, immune deficient. And we've had a huge class of immune deficient people, and still one of the number one killers is called cancer. And so whenever, you, and I can show you thousands and thousands of labs of people that have cancer, and they're looking and going, well, are you trying to look at a natural approach to cancer? No, I'm trying to say, listen, if you're immune deficient, um, our medical thinking is going, well, we're going to try to replace the immune system with chemotherapy and radiation. Well, chemotherapy and radiation is doing what the immune system was programmed to do in the first place, but it's very specific. It doesn't damage sure. normal tissue. 
So everybody's so, right now being tested for a virus, and I'm going, get the host tested. You don't got to worry about what virus it is. Right. So, Doc, you, you, you talk about a lot of people are taught that people with autoimmune problems yep. have a, a, an, an increased immune response. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about how an autoimmune problem ties into the, the, the health and the function of the, the immune system and how it's not what people are taught to believe? Yeah, well, we, we have this concept that the immune system made a mistake and it's attacking itself. That is, that, I'm sorry guys, is big medical BS. If you say something over and over again, people believe it. There's no immunological evidence that your body ever made a mistake. See, what happens is if I inject myself with a poison and my immune system says those are bad cells and now kills it, um, kills those cells, it wasn't a mistake because that's exactly what the COVID vaccine is doing. Hmm. Wow. So can we talk a little bit about, as you're making your way and you're discovering that there's this um, underlying correlation with the immune system and mm -hmm. people's ability to yep. fight off things. Yep. What do you do to help strengthen people's immune systems as you're testing them? Yep. Well, first of all, I, I tell people this, you know, it doesn't matter what age group you're in. Like I was speaking the other day um, to a group that was well over 40 years old. And I asked everybody there to take their pen and stab their finger. And of course, everybody giggles and some of that. And I, and I asked the oldest person in the room and he was close to 89 years old. I think it was, he said, I'm almost 89. I said, sir, what will happen to your finger when you do that? He goes, well, it'll bleed and start to heal. I said, so what you're telling me is you're genetically programmed to heal. So therefore, what you first need to do is stop damaging that process. Mm -hmm. See, we've convinced people that you're genetically programmed for a disease. That's not true. There's no, there's no evidence of that whatsoever, not one bit. So therefore, we got to look at first stop damaging it. You know what I'm saying? And one of the things that majorly damages, it's why you see that the uh, comorbidities with COVID is blood sugar, diabetes, mm -hmm. obesity. Where has President Biden, where has President Trump, where is that any of the politicians that saying, okay, listen, maybe we should stop uh, eating so much sugar. Maybe we should actually lose some weight. Maybe we should do these things. Now, they're wrong. We need certain nutrients and stuff like that to feed our immune response so we can actually produce certain cells. Um, and those are easily testable for and everything. I mean, one of our most important things, we all know this, is if you don't get enough sun, your vitamin D levels are going to be low. Well, vitamin D is actually one of the factors that really help us build our immune response. So therefore, you know, why aren't we checking everybody's vitamin D levels? Why aren't we checking everybody's immune responses? And then start to build it up. Because if you want to make America great again, you want to make immune, then you got to make immune system strong again. And there's no vaccine or no medical procedure that can make your, make your immune system normal. So I don't understand a vaccine. Um, it doesn't make your immune system normal, actually. Right, you understand it. You just don't understand how that they can say. Well, I understand it because it's political. Normal, right? it's, it's not based on health. So, but that's where I said, listen, so... We've just come along and said, listen, don't care what virus or bacteria you have, doesn't care it, what condition you have, you have a low immune response, there's a lot of things that will end up in your life, including cancers and other things, including you could die from just even a cold or flu. Right. So we're all born equally, basically. Um, you know, there are uh, birth defects. I, yeah. I understand that. But for the most part, the day you, all four of us were born, yeah. we were equal as far as what, what our body could do for us. Yeah. And then we take these pathways as far as how we treat our body and what we put in our body and how we consume things yep. um, that changes us mm -hmm. and yeah. makes us, a, uh, when I say a better host, I mean a host is going to be more susceptible yep. to getting ill or not. Yep. You know, we are all, we all have cancer cells in our bodies. Yep. It's just they replicate yep. replicate faster than others is what I've heard. You know, so I'm not a medical doctor, but these are just things that I've. Well, here's what happens. So we're all we're all born with a genetic ability to heal, mm -hmm. and mother's health has a lot to do with it. What she does during she's pregnancy, and then what happens is what, and then immediately we're assaulting our immune systems as soon as we're okay. born. And, All right. Yeah. Well, we're going to oh. talk more about more. that in yes. the next segment. We always run out of time. We'll yeah. be right back with more with Dr. Flynn after these messages on Ladies of Another View on Beck. Beck Communications is hiring. Beck Communications is now seeking qualified applicants for promotion commercial producer position in our Bismarck Beck location. This position will assist Beck News and Beck Sports. To view the job details, visit www.beck.coop. To apply, email your cover letter and resume to careers at bechtel.coop. Beck Communications, making connections that matter. Since opening in Hebron in 1940, Dakota Community Bank and Trust has been your hometown bank. Our mission has been to provide modern banking convenience with old-fashioned hometown service. We've grown with the communities we serve. 
Through year-round events, countless sponsorships, and nearly 7,000 hours of volunteering each year. Learn more about our 80-year history at dakotacommunitybank.com. Respect, innovation, trust, and excellence. These core values can be seen in every building built by Straightway Construction. In the community for over 15 years, Straightway Construction has become the premier construction company for commercial projects. From dirt to design and framing to finish, Straightway Construction is your number one choice. You won't have to look far to find a project that has that Straightway touch. Call them today or go online to straightwayconstruction.com and let them make your vision a reality. Jeez, what a mess. Look at that. There's roof stuff everywhere. It's so embarrassing. Ruins the neighborhood. Come on, humans. Let's get this fixed. Don't let your roof go to the dogs. Call America's best contractors for your free estimate. Need a new woof? After checking with the rest, go with the best. America's best contractors. 258-2412. Online at americasbestcontractorsincorporated.com. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and as you know, my passion is to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. That's why I created my new Giza Dreams bed sheets. I started by using the world's best cotton called Giza. It's only grown in a region between the Sahara Desert, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Nile River. It's ultra soft and breathable, but extremely durable. My Giza sheets also include full 21 inch wide pillowcases that will fit over any pillow and deep pocket sheets that will fit over any mattress. The first night you sleep on my sheets, you'll never want to sleep on anything else. Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen right now to get your very own MyPillow Giza Dream Sheets. Giza Dream Sheets are available in a variety of colors. Use your promo code and for a limited time, when you buy one set of sheets, you'll get another set absolutely free. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Welcome back to Ladies of Another View on Beck. We are still here with Dr. Patrick Flynn and Dr. Steve Nagel. And Candy and I, we yes. are just so blessed to have Loving this firsthand this. knowledge. Gosh. I'm a woman in my 30s or 40s <laughs> or something like that. Um, and I've learned more in the last half hour than I knew from, you know, being treated, you know, having babies and hormones and whatnot. So I really appreciate the information that you're sharing you, for our yes. viewers today. It's life changing. Oh, thank it you. Is. Yeah. You know, I have a question though, because um, we are kind of sort of, I'm, I've been going through my changes yep. and um, I have a really good friend who was having horrible, in fact, we go out different nights of the week and everyone brings a fan. Yep. It's because it, we're just at that stage. Anyway, um, one of them had a complete hysterectomy and regrets it mm -hmm. and so talk a little bit about what we can do as we're going through these changes to help eliminate some of those side effects of of going through them yeah and to synopsis some of the things about hormones when you look at male hormones um and obviously when we have so much time to cover things that way guys need to reduce their sugar it affects it converts their testosterone to estrogen makes them very sick and that's why we see such a decrease in uh testosterone today had no idea. Um, it's that simple. I mean, and there are, there's obviously other factors, but it's by far the number one factor that'll do it. Uh, women need to reduce their mental stress. Mental stress destroys females faster than anything. Hmm. And, and the reason why menopause can actually be so damaging to women is because, number one, and I know this is going to sound weird me saying this, the current medical thinking, the current doctors take care of them, are only leading them to disaster when they're older. Do you know what I'm saying? Hmm. It's like if you don't have anybody that teaches you how to maintain your house, 30 years from now, it's going to be a wreck. Yeah. And then therefore, that's what happens in women's hormonal health. And therefore, when they transition to menopause, because me menopause actually, no one will ever tell you this. I was the first doctor to ever say this in the world. It's easier to keep women healthier in menopause than it is when they're cyclic. Because menopause, they actually, now they have more stability of their hormones. There is no cycling. It's more oh, straight across. Okay. But then what happens, it depends on different organs. And within the, the major organ that is one of the biggest contributors to hormone production is actually their adrenals. Well, by that time, their body's so stressed out that when it goes to that tank of the adrenals, um, it's kind of empty. And therefore, that's why when the, the adrenals try to put out some hormone, when it's fatigued, adrenaline comes with it. And what do you think a woman experiences? Yeah. Massive hot flashes. Okay. And it just shows that, that their adrenals are starting to get uh, deficient, which is very easily testable. 
And then, but then, but remember, adrenals is a stress gland. And so there's multiple factors that deplete a woman's hormones that way in stress, mental stress being number one, chronic inflammation and foods and, and different things. And then you, once again, you also need to support your adrenals. And that's why, why I talk about eating things or taking some medicinal herbs and things like that that can really help. But the key to figuring out you or any woman that way is getting the proper testing done. See, it still comes down to that. Um, our whole medical system is not based on testing women properly, just like they don't test the immune system properly, they don't test hormones properly, and we're wondering why across the world we're very medically dominated, all countries spend a ton of healthcare, but it's from the wrong perspective. Right. And one of the things that I really appreciate about your approach mm -hmm. is it's individualized. Yes. There is not like this cookie cutter, this yep. is gonna fit everybody. Yep. I mean, I would say there's one. It's called the food allergy test. Yeah. Guaranteed, like mm -hmm. that one's gonna make a huge difference in your life, but the yep. others, it's like, what does this person need? Yep, yep. Well, that's the thing. It's like, and even with the food allergy test, even if we did everybody, everybody's gonna be reactive to different things. Oh, absolutely. And therefore, and we've lost individuality of healthcare, and that's why you even look at say, thinking somebody's immune system, everybody's immune system may respond the same to the COVID vaccine. That makes no immunological or no hormonal sense or to anybody's body the same, yet they've spent billions of dollars just in advertising to act like it is. Right, but even so, even with these food allergies, yep. our bodies were intended to take food in and not be allergic to say tomatoes mm -hmm. for you and you know something else for you. We should be able to eat just about anything on the healthy food. You know, I'm saying stay away from sugars, etc. But I shouldn't be allergic to tomatoes and her not. You know what I'm well, not? You'd be surprised that I have to correct mm -hmm. you on that. Uh, okay, but help me, yes. help me understand well, that. Well, let's even take somebody that lives, let's, get, let's give a perfect example. If you grew up in the Midwest um, 200 years ago, um, before refrigeration and storage and things like that, what did you eat mainly during the winter? Mainly some meat source. Yes. Now, if you actually took a person that is used to doing animal products, um, let's even take somebody way north, way north in Canada or way up in Iceland that way, that where they lived on whale blubber and different things like that, and you take them to a tropical island and feed them fruit. Their body genetically is not adapted to their environment. That's why if you ever look, different cultures will react to foods because generationally they've never had it. And so therefore okay. we don't produce certain things to be able to break it down that way. So there are some factors like that that contribute that way. But um, the majority of reasons why people are allergic to things is because their immune systems are so disrupted. Mm -hmm. it, they're so inflamed from everything we've been assaulting our immune systems with, with processed food, with vaccines, which vaccines actually have been shown to even cause massive allergies. And that's why you're gonna see a massive spike in allergies and other immune reactions because of the COVID vaccine. And you know, I, I did get the food allergy test done and I was shocked because I, I ate oatmeal every morning mm -hmm. for breakfast because I was like, this is healthy for me. Well, guess what? It came up on my food allergy test. And I once I eliminated those foods from my diet, mm -hmm. significant improvement. Wonderful. Great. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about immunology yep. and the vaccines. Yep. We maybe have five minutes yep. just to get, so give us the nuts and bolts, the best info you have in five minutes. Well, it's very simple. Um, people are in largely misled um, because they've actually taken in a part of, a, of actually a toxic substance and say it's training your immune system. Um, that's very misleading because if you look at all the aspects of what the vaccine does, it actually allows um, something that would never get into your cells. They have to create a covering and they call the, that the, the fatty acid nanoparticle that they created. They put messenger RNA in there and therefore they cannot control what cell it goes into. At least the COVID only has receptor for certain parts of your body. That, sure. And so what happens is now they open up your body to every cell being affected. And then what it does, it actually, the mRNA gets into a cell and they say it produces a spike protein. Yes, but what it does, it could leave it on cell surface, which now that cell does not actually work with all the other cells. So it's actually an abnormal cell. And by nature, that's called cancer. Wow. So what happens and they call it antigenic. Well, and that's why, and then your immune system says, you're an abnormal cell, I'm going to kill it. So they take a normal cell, turn it into an antigen, and then the, the, here's the even scarier part now. They also know that the spike protein can be released by a cell, so now that can travel to any part of your body. Um, that can be passed on even by blood transfusion if that spike protein's in there. That can go to different organs, and now you're going to allow the immune system to attack wherever it goes. And they actually are talking like it's a good thing. It's actually... It's actually, you know, very misleading and we, dangerous. It's very dangerous because here's what the worst part is. They're actually acting like if you don't see an immediate reaction right now, that there's no negative effects. Do you understand that makes no immunological sense? If you know anything about the immune system, those cells, if they're immunocompromised, 
those cells will continue to grow and they're going to relate and they'll never relate cancers and other immunological diseases down the road to it that way. They'll just say they'll blame your genes like they blame everything else on. Wow. That's scary. scary. That's it's scary, sad and alarming. Yep. You know, because we've all had our pros and cons. You know, do we do the vaccine? Do we not do the vaccine? And they kind of try to shame you into taking yep. it. And others, you know, they have, they've, they've had problems afterwards. There's been deaths, there's yep. been illnesses, but then someone else will take the vaccine and they're absolutely fine. And so they're fine for now, but we don't know down the road right. what's going to be fine. Well, see, because once again, just like there's never been a, a safety study on any vaccine, period. doesn't matter what vaccine, you know, there's never been a safety study. And on top of it, their safety study doesn't correlate uh, any inflammatory process that may take years to develop some condition. You know, if somebody eats something bad, there's an inflammatory process, your body responds to it. Well, guess what? That can cause damage you may not see till years later. So that's why they'll never correlate it. So it's great medical misconception and, and misleading people to think that if you don't see some major reaction or diet right away, that there's no side effects. So talk and, about re reproductive um, uh, in, in women. We've yep. heard that there's been issues. Do you know anything about that? I do. I was sharing some, some things about this. Um, we don't have time to go into yeah, that. Yeah, that's today. probably a long discussion. But let's just say this. Anytime that you alter any part of the body, and let's say that a viral proteins or, or spike protein or even virus gets to that area of the body, um, the immune system is going to do exactly what it's genetically programmed to do, which is go after that foreign tissue. And if it's at the uterus, it'll go after that. If it's in the arm, it'll go after that. If it hits your nerves, it'll go after that. And that's why the, the aspect of the vaccine scares me so much because here's what happens. That nanotechnology, you know, at least like we know this, COVID has a receptor that's predominantly on our lungs and mucous membranes. But with the messenger RNA it would be destroyed by the immune system just in general, that they had to create a coding, but they cannot control where that coding goes to so it can enter any cell, including the female reproductive organs. And if that goes into a female reproductive organ and now it changes and that spike protein comes onto there, the immune system is going to destroy those cells. They are creating autoimmune disease. They are creating massive damage. And if it doesn't, if the immune system doesn't kill it off, those cells will turn cancerous. That is some scary stuff. Alarming. Very alarming. So, um, all right, I just want to leave with this quick little um, meme that we had put up because it's so true. It's, it says, the doctor will be right with you in a few minutes. He's trying to figure out what disease goes with your insurance. A <laughs> little bit of truth to that, just yes. talking about or listening to both of you today. Um, I want to just say thank you for coming and giving thank us you. this information. I know it's a lot of information to absorb yeah. in a nutshell, but uh, we hope that someday you will come back and visit us, or if not through Zoom yes. uh, alone, because we just can't get to it all in one show. But uh, we'll be right back after this on Ladies of Another View on Back. Respect, innovation, trust, and excellence. These core values can be seen in every building built by Straightway Construction. In the community for over 15 years, Straightway Construction has become the premier construction company for commercial projects. From dirt to design and framing to finish, Straightway Construction is your number one choice. You won't have to look far to find a project that has that Straightway touch. Call them today or go online to straightwayconstruction.com and let them make your vision a reality. Deciding how to promote your business can be hard. Visit the professionals at Dakota Promotions and Printing and let them help you through your struggle. Dakota Promotions provides promotional items and apparel from corporate gifts to team shirts and everything in between. With quick turnaround times and friendly service, they are your best choice. And best yet, you're shopping local. Visit them online at dakotapromo.com or stop in their showroom at 320 West Main in Mandan. Dakota Promotions, delivering promotions just for you. Every great pizza has a secret. At New York To Go, that secret lies in our perfectly recreated New York water. The key ingredient to making our signature New York style pizza. We also feature Yiro's with the region's only Yiro meat spit. Plus, Nathan's hot dogs, calzones, and our delicious jumbo buffalo wings. Try a 14 inch or our special giant 20 inch pizza tonight. You gotta know how to fold them if you wanna hold them. New York To Go, we deliver for you. 40 years ago, Aero Service Team started with one truck and lots of hard work. Times may have changed, but the hard work that we put in to get your lives back in order after fire, water, and disaster hasn't. Over the years, we've seen so many families lose their belongings due to water and fire damage. Restoring homes back to the original state has made every hour of hard work well worth it. 
thank you for trusting our family with yours. When disaster strikes, you only have to make one call. Aero Service Team does it all. Indoor football is back in Bismarck. Bucks football season is right around the corner. Grab a friend or family member for a night of action-packed, hard-hitting entertainment. The Bucks open at the Bismarck Event Center May 8th as they take on the Massachusetts Pirates. Catch the sweetest seats in the house right on the sidelines with VIP service at a Bucks turf table. Available now for single game purchases. Secure your tickets today by calling 701-595-0771. Bucks football, half the field and double the fun. I'm Rick Becker from No Apologies. Welcome to your After Hours Oasis of Sanity. How can, how can these people not see that they're just clowns? Things. We help simplify and educate you on things going on in the legislature and around the country. Asking the hard-hitting questions. But also having Flea Stack and Sid and Marty Croft stuff, and we've talked about that sometimes. <laughs> it's bad. Watch us weeknights at 9 Central on Beck News and online at Beck.News. Welcome back to Ladies of Another View on Beck. I had a couple more quick questions during the break that I'd just like you to clarify sure. before we get to the lighter side. Yep. Number one, Gardasil. They're just cramming that down every teenager's yes. um, throat. Your opinion? Um, the COVID vaccine scares me, but the Gardasil uh, vaccine is still probably the most detrimental vaccine to human health. Um, How so? It's actually the, the aluminum toxicity has caused more deaths than you can ever imagine. Um, I have personal experience with that with patients that way too. It's been well documented, yet it's probably the most publicized vaccine and it's very scary. Okay, so my second question then, if people have already had the vaccine yep. for COVID, what can they do to help, uh, help their immune system? Well, that, well, always remember this, is if you get yourself back to a normal state of health, and that's a whole other discussion, but here's what happens. A healthy body, you'd be surprised what it can deal with. And most people are going into medical treatments very unhealthy, so that's why they have reactions. Sure. But the idea is, like I said, there's so many factors. But the number one thing is get testing done. Medical professional will never test you properly, so going there, um, you'll never get any headway. And basically, stay away from sugar. That's, I trust mean, me. Stay away from sugar. Good that's, start. It's, it's a great yes, start. Absolutely. So we're going to hop right into our lighter side. I saw this video, and it is just all about love. Uh, take a peek. Did you see this viral photo? Did you see this right here? Uh, these kindergartners, they're best friends, and they had twin day at school, so they wanted to dress alike on twin day. And so here they are. Please welcome Miles and Tanner and their moms, Brittany and LaKendra. Okay, Brittany, what's the story behind the photo? Uh, well, it was Red Ribbon Week at school, and um, it was twin day, and so Miles really wanted to dress um, like Tanner, and he was adamant that they looked identical, and that they had the same hair and the same eyes. Okay, yeah. He, <laughs> he and, just, um, that's what he saw. Yes, We exactly. got the same eyes. Same eyes, same hair. Um, and his mother, because I texted the teacher, and she did give me um, Tanner's mother's name. Just a, you know, common courtesy, like I'm gonna send some clothes tomorrow for your kid to change into. <laughs> I, need, I need you to be on board with me, you yeah. know? And so um, he did, so we sent the, the clothes to school and he went and changed as soon as he got there and then the teacher had sent us that picture and the boys, and I was like, oh. <laughs> so you had no idea who no, Tanner was? No, not at all. You just bought the clothes because your boy came in and said, I got the yes. dude in school. We got the same eyes, yeah. same hair, everything. Yeah. Hey, Tanner, Tanner, Tanner. Yes. Why, why is Miles your twin? Because he want to be my friend. <laughs> And, and Miles, why did you why did you tell your mom that he was your twin? Because he was my best friend. He's your best friend. So y'all twins. That's all that matters. And we're both five. Huh? We're both five. Oh, you're both five. Well, that hell, that do it right there. <laughs> have y'all uh, had a talk with them about it? Ex have you haven't explained to them that no. that's no, no, but they they act like they're brothers and they call themselves <laughs> brothers, so we just let it go. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to point out the differences. That defeats the purpose. Because they don't see none. That's no. right. Because you know something. <laughs> 
you know why? Because kids don't see difference. They're, they're taught differences. If, if we could learn from kids, man, man, this world be a show cooler place, man. It really, really would, man. Just powerful yes. and beautiful. Oh my gosh. You know, I, I really like the fact that they emphasize that they didn't see the difference between yeah. themselves. I mean, and that's the way it should be. I mean, we all have differences, but the color of our skin makes no difference, honestly. Absolutely it's no not difference. a defining. We're taught that. Yeah. We're taught that. And, yes. now, yeah. and that's what Steve, I know you guys couldn't hear it, but he said it. He goes, that is yeah. something that we're taught. It's mm -hmm. like, that is not something that kids going into this world. No, you, you just don't come out like that. So it was very, such a, such a sweet, sweet video. And hopefully we can all get to that place. Just the innocence of children. Right, and let a little child lead them. Right, and if that's what it takes, let the kids lead. Yeah. So we have less than a minute. I just want to, do you want to leave us with a parting thought? Just um, what, what are you going to do this weekend? Oh. What do you want to tell our viewers? <laughs> so my first grandbaby is on its way right now. Yeah. I'm yeah. so excited. She's been watching her phone this whole time. Yes, I have. I've been waiting. So, yes, my uh, daughter-in-law has been in labor since yesterday, so I'm, like, anxiously, like, any minute. Okay, 15 seconds for each of you. <laughs> Go for it, Steve. Oh, gosh, I was totally unprepared. Yes. Um, we're heading to Wilson. If you're in the yes. Wilson area, make sure um, Doc is doing the hormone talk um, in, out in the western part of the state tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., but it's sold out. So. All right, um, and so next time you're through town, just please stop in. I definitely yeah. will. Thank you for Thank watching you. us. We really appreciate all our viewers and your opinions. Just bring them in. If you want to talk to us, uh, or email us or check out becknews.com. And uh, thanks for being with us, and we'll see you next time on Ladies of Another View on Back.